So we're working on a single leg uh, over this weekend. I think it was USA 168. We saw Travis Brown uh, knock out Josh Barnett with a with an elbow to the head. Cause he, I mean, Josh knows this stuff. Uh, he's a he's a master at, at, at wrestling. But he got hurt, and the instincts wasn't there. He made a mistake of putting his head on the outside. And so we talked about, you know, the dangers of putting your head outside in wrestling. The dangers of putting your head outside in MMA are even more dangerous because you're going to take those elbows to the head. There's so many things on single legs. I think guys watch watch somebody like Jake Shields, who's an elite athlete, get away with stuff like putting his head outside and finishing single legs, and they don't focus on the principles. They don't understand why they want their head outside, and they don't understand the dangers of what happens if you put the head outside, especially on a single leg. There's some basic rules. Two hands on one leg, keep them there. If you have two hands on one leg, you don't take it off. You don't switch to the double leg. Um, you're always trying to keep your head on that inside and you're trying to bring that leg above your waist. Those are the simple rules when you're in on a single leg. There's a lot more to it. We'll cover all that stuff, get, coming up to the clinch, going back down. So you can kind of see the class today and the kids are doing fantastic on this. And these guys are, they're pretty, pretty new, but they're, uh, we got some good athletes in here and we got some guys that have been coming for a while too. So you're going to see some pretty decent single legs. Uh, how many guys, uh, Watched uh, Josh Barnett's fight. Yeah. You guys, can you guys tell me the mistake he made on that single leg? What was the biggest mistake he made on that single leg? You don't remember that position, huh? Head wasn't high enough. Okay, good. That's, I mean, that's that's a good that's a good start. Okay, on a, on a single leg, is your head inside or outside? Inside. Inside. Where's where's Josh's head on the single leg? Outside, so look, he shot, shot a single leg. I mean, yeah, he got hurt by that knee for sure. Okay, but then he got in on a single leg and he was on his knees right here. And he took these bad shots. If that head was inside, even if he's on his knees. Here, I don't have that punch. I don't have much power here either. I've got to create a lot of distance to create any power there. What are the other dangers that are putting your head outside? Choke you. Oh, you choked, right. Okay, so what we're going to do today is we're going to focus on our single leg with our head inside. And we're going to do it off the clinch, off the pummel, okay? Because these guys were in that, that pummel. They're both trying to get underhooks, right? I want underhooks, so does Keanu. So what happens is we're pummeling. I'm trying to get, so is he. Okay, now I'm going to get my head on my underhook side, okay? So I'm going to take a step to keep my head on the same side as my underhook. Touch your knuckles to your temple. Okay, that's where I want my hand. So we're in pommel, I'm trying to get underhooks. He gives me double unders, I don't need to do any of that because I just move around, I'm already in position. Okay, so my partner's not gonna give me double unders, right? He's gonna pommel with me. Oh, give me double unders, Keanu. There we go. All right, as we're pommeling, as we're pommeling, okay, now I'm gonna get my head to my underhook side. So I'm gonna step, where's my knuckles going? Temple, right? Now he can't pull this arm out. Now I'm just going to drop my head to his chest. What do I listen to him for? Heartbeat. heartbeat. Okay. There's his heartbeat. I know my head's high. Who said head high? Me. Good. Head high. So it's high. What happens if I put my head down here? Push it down. Push it down. Yeah. Okay. So my head's up here. Push the head down. Okay. So we're going to pommel. Pommel. I'm going to get to that underhook. Knuckles to my temple. Drop into a single leg. The first one we're going to do is a drive. We're going to move him backwards. We're going to step. As he falls, I stop. Okay, I don't want to fall into his guard. I want to stop. Two on one. Step to the hip. Near shoulder, far hip. Keanu, you want to try it? Keanu, come on here. Pommel, pommel, pommel. Decide to hit your single leg. Pommel. Yeah, Keanu. Go ahead, Keanu. Head up high. Good. Drive, drive, step. Beautiful. Pass. Barney. Good. Caleb, good turn. Slow down, please. I'm going back. Beautiful. Head high. Okay. Good. Not bad. Forward, <coughs> you went to the mat with him. Okay. 
So what happens is, there's nothing wrong with going to the mat, guys. Sometimes I want to take him down, I want to control him. But if I take your guy down here, I take him down, and I stay on my feet, I've got the option of staying on my feet, or I've got the option of controlling him. If I end up falling with him, I only have one option. That's no option, is it? Okay, one more time. Okay. Everything look great. I want you to stop when you're running that. Drive, drive, drive. Good. Awesome. Pass. Step to the hip. Good. All right, there's three ways to finish a single leg. Simply lift, dump, drive, drive, dump, lift, lift, dump, drive. It doesn't matter. It's the, in the order. Usually I'm going to start with a drive, I'm going to go to a dump, and then a lift. But honestly, it's where his weight is. And I'm going to transfer between those three. I mean, there's three different ways to finish this single leg. I don't have to invent a whole bunch of new new techniques. I mean, there's some basic rules. If his leg starts coming out, then I want to get his leg above my waist, and we cover that a lot. We talked about that. But he's trying to keep that leg inside, using it for balance. I'm going to lift, dump, drive. There's three ways to finish that single leg. I wrote a book on dirty boxing, and in there I cover the basic principles, the three ways to finish. And all this stuff is propagated off of the seven basic skills. Once they have those seven basic skills, they got to learn how to take people down. A single leg is a very basic takedown. But you see guys, like we talked about, even at the highest levels of the sport, like Josh Barnett, make a mistake and put his head on the outside. And it cost him a, a fight, it cost him a win, and also got him knocked out. Um, so, and I, and I just don't see Travis Brown at the same level of wrestler as, as Josh, but Josh made that one simple mistake. And maybe he, he's trained with his head outside and gotten away with it, like uh, like a Jake Shields, who's gotten away with that because he's such a higher level of wrestler than everybody else that he's facing. But this guy's a big monster, and he, he's got to focus on the principles, the fundamentals. When this guy doesn't fall, okay, what do I do? When he doesn't fall, okay. I hit a dump. Oh, he didn't fall. He got his leg outside. He's using that for balance. You gotta get position back. Okay, okay, so I gotta get position back. Very good, Kobe. Get my head in there, get position. So what can I do? I can drive, I can dump, I can lift. But what happens is this guy doesn't fall, and all of a sudden we go, well, I'm gonna force him, and I put my head down here. What can uh-huh? You know, I don't wanna do that. Even if my head's inside, I can get in trouble if I put it out of position. So Somebody said today, uh, keep your head high, which was a great rule. Head's high, head's high. It doesn't matter if it's inside or outside. He's not choking me. As soon as I put my head down there, I'm in trouble, okay? The other thing is my head's on the inside. It's not outside, even if it's high. Okay, so here I'm on the single. He doesn't fall. I do it again. I do it again. I do it again. I do it again. Oh, my goodness. Pay <laughs> yourself. But see how I just keep making that same footwork step? Step. It's like an arm bar. When I put an arm bar on, he's stacking me. Do I just try to do it really slow and hard? What do I do? Pop, pop, pop. Again, 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 right? So if I'm down here on an arm bar, and this guy's got me stacked up, I'm not going to do that. But if I <laughs> see how I can get that extended by using the, those motions, the same thing on the single leg. I don't just try to do it harder. I just do it again. Do it again. Okay. Or we can go to our lift or we can go right back to our drive. So if he doesn't go on the first dog, I do it again. Or I go right back to my drive. There's my takedown. Got me? Okay, go. Get a little better balance for your partner this time. We're going to go into our lift in a second. In here. All right, the biggest advantage you have right now with a single leg is you have two feet on the mat and you've got one. Okay, that's a huge mismatch. Okay, try standing like this, okay, versus me standing like this. I've got way more balance, right? I'm much more mobile. Okay, so you've got his leg in the air. Don't put it back on the mat. Anytime you get an opportunity to get that leg above your waist, here, up, you didn't dump, but that leg comes above my waist, I'm gonna finish this every time, okay? So we're going to talk about that lift. What we're attacking with a single leg is not down here at his knee. It's up here by his hips. I'm controlling his hips. Okay? If I sit in the chair, pop my hips, I'm going to put him in the air. The way I'm doing this is I get that foot hitting that raptor. Let's see if we can do it with Taylor. Uh, no. All right, let's see. 
Okay, from here, what do I do? Lift. No, I just lift. Ah, it's going to kill my back. Okay, I sit in the chair. See what I did? Now my locks up here. Okay. All right, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to keep that head right here, guys. So we're going to hit that dump. Watch my lock. Slides high. Lift. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to swing his legs this way. And once they're in the air, I'm going to swing them this way. Now, if I was fighting this guy, I would leave my head right here. When we hit the mat, it's going to slide up right underneath the shit. Okay, but since he's my trainer partner, I'm going to be nice. I'm going to put him in the air, and I'm going to catch him like a baby, and I'm going to set him down. No headbutts on the way down. Okay, so get his legs going this way, and swing him. So watch my arms. It's a basic kettlebell. Swing, swing. Let's start this lift with a dump, okay? Another thing that the dump does is it brings that hip closer to me. So if I'm trying to lift, am I attacking his hip or his leg? Here, I'm attacking his leg, aren't I? Okay, so watch what happens when I dump. Watch how close this hip gets to me. See how he came close to me? Now I'm just going to go grab it. Watch. Space, look at the space. I'm going to take that space away by hitting my dump. Now, there's no space. So watch my feet, guys. Step. When I step back up, I'm sitting in that chair. Dump. Right in the chair. Okay, do this. 